As you know, I'm getting quite famous to have a queue every time I go somewhere. So here's today's queue. And let's hope it's quite quick. We are almost at the airport now. A bit late. Got the flight at 10 to 5 and it's 10 to 4. So I need to park and everything. Hope I get the plane. We are almost there. That's somebody wait for me. And I finally made it. I finally made it. Going up. So we are here in a remote area of Sofia. Uh, I cannot tell you where, obviously. But uh, yeah, you can see it's not the best part. And he's doing some kind of supercars. Uh, and now we're going to see it because it's really, really, really interesting. So, why am I showing you the chassis of, of a Corvette? Because what they do in here is that they get Corvettes, they take out whatever they want and they need to do their supercar, and then they just sell it as it is. Look, look at this. Do you want one? They have some, and they will have always more during the year because they're planning to sell about 20 to 25 cars in 2019. So they'll have 25 chassis of the Corvette. And uh, here we've got one, just to show you. And, okay, this is the other very nice car, in my opinion. And here we've got the second one. So, look at this, nothing inside. They took out the motor, took out completely the interiors, everything. Have you ever seen a Corvette like this? I think not, I, at least I haven't. And these are other parts that used to be Corvette. produce the Gigi car that we'll go and try later. So what you find in here is practically a Corvette, supercharged, and they say lighter and better handling. They say uh, should be about 460 horsepower at the moment and also uh, 200 kilos less. So it should be 1,500 kilos, something like that. So we're finally inside this car. The interiors are completely made from the Corvette, the actual Corvette. So actually quality is it's good. You can see here AC, bit of everything, big display, as we are used to have it now. The steering wheel could be a bit, bit better. And yeah, the output is, you can see quite a lot outside. So, you can see they kept the Corvette signs, but they're going to take them off, because this is still a prototype. Let's go and see how it sounds. Ooh, sound is very good. Okay, so there are two, two modes. This, this is before. Okay, and then we go on the sport mode. Okay, completely different. This is what we, we call some sound.
so we're going around a bit. Actually, we should have done a real test of the car, but I've just been told that this car cannot go around legally. So what we're doing is just a tour of the block. Uh, actually, now we need to turn around. Cannot go in the open roads. Uh, but I've been promised that we'll go, we'll go soon, soon to try a finished car with plate numbers and everything. So yeah, listen to it. Its sound is amazing and it should drive also very good. And here we've got the magic SUV with aspirated motor. Uh, giving 560 horsepower. So try and imagine some years ago when you would have seen this car, you would have said, ah, who wants 560 horsepower? Nobody probably. Now all the bigger brands are having this kind of motor on the SUVs. So he was something like 10 years before all the rest of the market. And this, in my opinion, is, is really amazing. And have a look at these Lamborghini Murcielago rear lights. These are really amazing, in my opinion, to go and get the Murcielago lights to do a SUV. And sorry, it's not so clean, but they're not using it so much at the moment. These are one, two, and one, two. So this is amazing to think that they thought about this some 10 years ago. The front, front is also very nice. I let you guess in the comments whose front lights are this. It's quite easy actually. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's, it's nice, the cockpit is nice, the car is spacious, i show you the interiors. So I'd like to show you this, I mean it doesn't have sense, it's, uh, it's very high quality uh, wood, steering wheel, so yeah, they, they looked at all the really, really nice and quality pieces in here. Yeah, and as I t said, would you have ever imagined to buy a 550 horsepower SUV? Um, probably not, but now all the major brands are doing it. So starting from the X6, X5, X6M with uh, 555 horsepower and, and all the others. So, yeah. This thing is pretty amazing, and I really, really like it. It's getting evening. We are in Sofia airport, getting back. And I don't know really what to say, because uh, I really like the design of the car, and for sure 200,000 is reasonable price for what they are making, because they're making a real supercar, starting from already a supercar so it's uh, it's already very interesting in my opinion and um, so yeah thank you for watching and if you like subscribe ciao